In Mario Party, we've seen several minigames return to future games with reworks and remasters. Today, I want to cover the minigames that return to later games with changes to their core gameplay. I'm not going to mention the day to night changes in Mario Party 6, as these are not changes between games, and we'll possibly be mentioning these in a later video. Without further ado, let's get started with the changes to Mario Party minigames. Hot Bob Bomb is a 4 player minigame that ends when the Bob Bomb explodes from the last player holding it. This is one of the rare instances where a this player loses is displayed instead of the usual this player wins message. In Mario Party 2, it's a battle minigame that keeps going until one player remains. If the player does not catch the Bob Bomb in time, they are unable to move for a little bit. In this version, the Bob Bomb also explodes a little bit faster too. Crazy Cutters is a 4 player minigame that has the players trace the shape of either a Goomba, a Bob Bomb, or a Boo. If any of the players score at least 80 points, they win the minigame. In Mario Party 2, it's now a battle minigame, but now the players trace the shape of either a Chain Jump, a Cheap Cheap, or a Blooper. The player with the most points wins this time. In Mario Party Superstars, it's back to being a 4 player minigame and combines the shapes of both games by having players trace either a Boo, a Chain Chomp, or a Blooper. The player with the most points wins the minigame. Facelift is a 4 player minigame that has the player stretch a Bowser face to match the one in the middle. The player with the most points at the end wins the minigame. In Mario Party 2, it is now a battle minigame and uses one of the 6 playable characters as the face. Like Mario Party 1, the player at the end with the most points wins the minigame. Balloon Burst is a 4 player minigame in which the players have to inflate a Bowser balloon. The player whose balloon pops first is the winner. Mario Party 2 changes this up by making it a 2 vs 2 minigame, and the team who pops their balloon first is the winner. Skateboard Scamper is a 4 player minigame where the player skates to the goal, jumping over thwomps and grabbing coins in the process. The first player to cross the goal wins the minigame. In Mario Party 2, the course is completely different with moving floors and staircases. There are still coins to grab on the way, and the first player to reach the goal still wins. Platform Peril is a 4 player minigame that has the players jump across platforms to reach the goal. There are triangle obstacles on some of the platforms and coins to collect on the way. The first player to make it to the goal wins the minigame. In Mario Party 2, some of the platforms are different sizes, can move, or have conveyor belts moving either backwards or forwards. The win condition still remains the same. Mushroom Mix-Up is a 4 player minigame that has Toad hold up a color of the mushroom for the players to stand on while the other mushrooms sink. The mushrooms sink and rise faster and faster as the game goes on. The last player standing wins the game. In Mario Party 2, there is a minigame very similar to this called Hexagon Heat. The game plan is the same, but now in a lava filled environment. In Mario Party Superstars, the mushrooms still have colors, but now with unique patterns on them too. Grab Bag is a 4 player coin minigame where the players steal coins from each other's bags. The player's coin totals are determined by the amount of coins they have during the board. Players can take either 1 or 5 coins per grab and can either win or lose coins at the end depending on their coin totals. In Mario Party 2, it is now a battle minigame and instead of coins, each player has 5 blue mushrooms in their bag. There is also one golden mushroom in a random player's bag that is worth 3 points. The player with the most points at the end is the winner. Bumper Balls is a 4 player minigame where the players try to push each other off an island. The last player standing is the winner. The balls all have a face design on them with the color associated with the character. In Mario Party 2, there are now 3 different courses. A flat platform in lava similar to Mario Party 1, an icy mountain, and an island with rocks and bumps on it. The balls now have a star design on them with the character's color still present. In Mario Party Superstars, the courses from Mario Party 2 were still kept for this minigame. Bombs Away is a 4 player minigame where the players dodge cannonballs on an island. Cannonballs that hit the island stun the players for a short time. The last players standing on the island are the winners. In Mario Party 2, bullet bills were added in that home in on the island. At the end of the minigame, a Bowser missile is shot at the island with a very large blast radius. All players remaining are the winners. Shy Guy Says is a 4 player minigame where the players have to raise the same flag that Shy Guy is raising. Sometimes Shy Guy will raise two flags at once and put one down to trick the players. 
Players who raise the wrong flag are eliminated from the minigame. The last player standing is the winner. In Mario Party 2, a lack of two flies across the top of the screen telling players how long they have to raise their flag. Hot Rope Jump is a 4 player minigame where the players jump over lava bubbles. The longer you hold the jump button, the higher you jump up in the air. The jump rope moves faster and faster as the minigame goes on. If one player hits the jump rope, the minigame ends and that player loses the minigame. If the four players reach 20 jumps, they are all the winners. In Mario Party 2, the minigame continues until one player remains. The jump rope will also change speeds throughout the game. In Mario Party Superstars, the minigame ends once 99 jumps are reached or one player is remaining. Hammer Drop is a four player coin minigame where a hammer bro drops coins and hammers to the players below. Hammers will stun the players for a short time. If a player falls off the stage, they cannot collect any more coins in the minigame, but can still keep the amount of coins they collected. In Mario Party Superstars, players that fall off the stage receive no coins at the end. Slot Car Derby is a four player minigame where the players race in slot cars to complete four laps in order to win. If the player goes too fast on corners, they will spin out. If a player overlaps another player and hits their car, they are eliminated from the minigame. There are two tracks to race on for this minigame. In Mario Party 2, there are three different tracks for the players to race on. Bowl Over is a 1 vs 3 minigame where one player tries to bowl over the team of three players with a shell. The single player can control the shell to move left and right. If the shell hits the side walls, the minigame ends. The single player receives three coins per player pin and one coin per normal pin knocked over. The team of three players can jump around to try to avoid the shell. In Mario Party 2, there are three different lane variations. The single player is now given two shells to bowl with. If the single player bowls over all the team players, they win the minigame. If at least one team player survives, the team of three wins the minigame. Tightrope Treachery is a 1 vs 3 minigame where the single player walks across a tightrope while the team of 3 shoots cannonballs at the single player. Gusts of wind and cannonballs can cause the single player to lose their balance. If the single player crosses the finish line, they win the minigame. If the single player falls off the tightrope, the team of 3 wins. In Mario Party 2, there is a similar minigame, Rainbow Run, but the clouds for the team of 3 move automatically. Crane Game is a 1 vs 3 coin minigame where the single player can grab either a coin, a coin bag for 5 coins, a treasure chest for 10 coins, or another player for one third of their coins. The crane player can hold on to another player by rapidly pressing the A button, and the grab players can escape by rapidly pressing the A button as well. If the crane player drops the player, or misses the grab, the minigame ends and they receive no coins. In Mario Party 2, it's now a normal 1 vs 3 minigame, and the crane player must capture all 3 players to win. There is also the addition of watches, which can add extra seconds to the timer. Bobsled Run is a 2 vs 2 minigame where each team controls a bobsled to reach the finish line at the end of the track. There are speed boosts along the way to help the team speed up and overtake each other. In Mario Party 2, the bobsleds are now shaped like penguins, and there are fewer walls on the track. Desert Dash is a 2 vs 2 minigame where each team works together to move the log boards across the desert. If one of the players moves in the opposite direction, or is crushed by the thwomp, the team will be unable to move for a short time. The first team that reaches the finish line wins. In Mario Party 2, there is a very similar minigame, Dungeon Dash, with the same game plan, now with fireballs and thwomps to dodge. Hancar Havoc is a 2 vs 2 minigame where two teams race against each other to reach the finish line. If the players lean too much, they will fall off, eliminating them from the minigame. In Mario Party 2, falling off the track is not possible, meaning that players can go all out with mashing the A button. Dizzy Dancing is a 4 player minigame where the player's controls are altered and they must reach the green music note in the center. The player who grabs the music note first wins the game. In Mario Party Superstars, this minigame received a big change where collecting the music note now awards 1 point and causes a new music note to spawn in a different location. The player with the most points at the end wins the minigame. Quicksand Cash is a 1 vs 3 coin minigame where the single player is in a Bowser suit in the center controlling the direction of the quicksand to draw in coins to themselves. The team of 3 is also collecting coins and trying to avoid falling into the center. If a player falls into the center, they can no longer collect coins for the rest of the minigame. Each player has their own coin totals in this minigame. In Mario Party Superstars, the coin total is shared between the team of three. 
Tidal Toss is a 1 vs 3 minigame where the single player must knock off the team of 3 using tidal waves. The single player can use regular jumps and ground pounds to produce different size waves with varying knockbacks. The single player wins when they knock the team of 3 off the stage. The team of 3 wins if at least one player survives the time limit. In Mario Party Superstars, the single player has less lag after their jumps and ground pounds, allowing them to send out more waves. The team of 3 also has less invincibility after being hit by the waves. Alongside these, I want to show some of the minor changes to the minigames as well. Tipsy Tourney's image is a coin in Mario Party 1, an animated toad in Mario Party 2, and either a star, a mushroom, or a fire flower in Superstars. Piranha's Pursuit replaces the Piranha Plant in Mario Party 1 with PD Piranha in Superstars. Honeycomb Havoc replaces the coins in Mario Party 2 with more fruit in Superstars. Shell Shock in Mario Party 2 received the name change to Tread Carefully in Superstars, which may reference the tread of the tanks. Bowser's Big Blast in Mario Party 2 received the sort of sequel in Mario Party 4 with Bowser's Bigger Blast, but they both play relatively the same. Toadstool Titan in Mario Party 3 received the name change to Mush Pit in Superstars, being a pun on Mosh Pit. The mushroom is also replaced with the Mega Mushroom. Chipshot Challenge added in a random selector to choose who goes first in Superstars. Several minigames also allow for at least three players to finish the game now in Superstars to help with determining the coins for the players' placements. Mario Party bringing a lot of these minigames back is great for preserving their memories and improving anything that needed any reworks in the series. It kind of felt like a do-over to get the minigames in their intended forms. Let me know what changes were your favorites. If you liked this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content from me. Thanks y'all, and I'll catch y'all later.